students welcome to class 4 subject evs 1 chapter 22 transport and communication in this lesson we are going to learn about different modes of transport and children you all know that we daily travel from one place to another we go from go to schools colleges different types of functions we travel and also traveling is been done from one place to the other for that different modes of transports are being used if you're going by road you take uh, vehicles like bus auto rickshaws etc cars etc if you're going by rail routes you take railways uh, trains and all that and if you go by airways you go for aeroplane etc an activity to move from one place to another is called travel aeroplane trains taxis buses auto rickshaw motorcycles are called vehicles the process of carrying people or goods from one place to another is called transport we do not use the same means of transport to go to every place. The vehicle we use depends on the location of the place, distance to be covered, time available and money we can spend. We generally walk or take cycle for nearby places and we take vehicle for far away places. Sometimes we use more than one means of transport to reach a place. Now let's find out the different modes of transport and what are they. First is a rail transport, road transport, water transport and air transport. Rail transport. Railways in India are main modes of transport of goods and passengers. Goods trains carry bulky and heavy goods like coal, iron, cement etc. Passenger trains carry a large number of people at a time. Metro trains are the latest version, version of railways. Metro trains run in big cities like Delhi, Mumbai, Kolkata, Lucknow, etc. Our next mode of transport is road transport. A road is a smooth path or way between two or more places. The most common vehicles are cars, buses, trucks, cycles, bullock carts, tractors, pickup van, etc. Every country has a network of roads which enable people to reach in its remote areas. Our next mode of transport is air transport. Air transport uses aeroplanes and helicopters. Aeroplanes cover long distances and carry many people at a time. Helicopters cover short distances and carry a few people. They are often used to take food and medicine to people in the time of need. Air transport is very fast but it is very costly. Water transport Ships, boats and steamers are the means of water transport. Boats and steamers are used to carry people and goods across the rivers. Ships carry people and bulky goods across the sea to the other countries. Many people travel through the ships from one place to another for picnics, for holidays or for their work. It is also one of the costliest form of transport. I hope you have understood the different modes of transport and which type of vehicles are used for different modes of transport for going uh, from one place to another etc. Thank you. Mm -hmm.